onto just a regular plane restoration. This one's not too bad, just needs to be cleaned up. I need to hit it with something because it's got some rust coming up on it. I could do this little Stanley. But I want to... I think I'm going to do this big Bailey number five. Yes. This one needs some love. It's not horrible. But let's see what I can do with it. Everybody knows that having the proper tools is a key element on working on things. And I think it's even more so important when working on uh, vintage or antique tools because some of these screws and fixtures, they're proprietary. So you don't want to go boogering them up. Um, that's why, personally, I've had this Wheeler Engineering gunsmithing tool set for decades. <clears throat> I highly suggest you do get one of these. It's got multiple different bit sizes, so you know that it's going to fit correctly, and you have taken every step possible to minimize the chances of boogering up and stripping or marring up your fasteners and screws. So I'm going to take this apart, get a closer look at it, and we will come back. There's some original Japaning left but it is worn. Somebody loved this plane at one time, but that is not my grandfather's name. So he must have bought this off of someone. So I'm gonna be completely going over this the best that I can. Um, I will have to research a little bit further on how to disassemble the frog further, or if it can be disassembled further without uh, taking a chance of damaging it because I am not a pr professional at this. I just play one on YouTube sometimes. But this is what I've got to work with. This is the before. And we will see what it looks like when I'm done. Overnight, I put the screws in Evaporust. Uh, there was no brass. Um, if I had to guess, I'm going to say maybe this is around a wartime piece. I, I don't know. There's no uh, patent dates or anything on the sole uh, or the body of the... Or I did put the body and the frog in a chemical degreaser uh, for about five hours. I knew that it would take the Japaning off. That was actually my plan because it was sparse and I don't have a Japaning recipe that I can even follow right now. Uh, I mean, I can find them, but I don't have the chemicals or the products to do so. So my plan is just to repaint and make it look nice. I'm not going for original or historic or anything like that. This is going to be a user. It's going to be something that I enjoy doing. And hopefully it'll turn out right. Well, there goes that screw. 
Let's see if I can find it. And it hit my foot and went somewhere. Oh, ha ha. I got so lucky, so lucky. So doing the rust, um, I let it soak uh, with WD-40 on it for two reasons. One, so it didn't flash rust on me after degreasing it. And two, to help break up the, uh, the rust. Um, I let it soak for two days while my wife and I went to um, first Monday to do some uh, flea market finds. And then I got home and I scrubbed it with a brass brush and a Dremel. Um, and it got it very, very clean. Uh, so my next process is there's some, let me get you in closer so you can see. There are some rough castings. It is not uh, gonna hinder the functionality of it. It's just cosmetic. Uh, I'm gonna take a file and clean that up. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth all these surfaces out. Uh, make sure that they're completely flat because your iron lays on here. I'm not doing just a restoration, and if that's not what you're looking for, you know what, I, I, I ask that you go ahead and stick around, see what I'm going to do to it, and you can flame me in the comments later. I'm going to get started on polishing these bits up and getting on with this process. Yeah, that's not quite turned out like I'd hoped, but too much pitting in it. So I've taken this to 5,000 wet sand and then buffed it and hit it with some metal polish. And it is close to mirror. It's really hard to tell. I think I can get better in the future. If y'all have got any pointers or suggestions, uh, leave them in the comments. So all I'm doing right now is finishing up flattening the sole. Uh, I know conventional wisdom uh, says that you're supposed to do it with the frog and the tote and all that in place, but that myth has been debunked and I find that it is easier to hold on to and get pressure more evenly uh, without those items in the, in the body of the plane. I'll link a video to the gentleman who has did a lengthy video on debunking that myth. One thing that I noticed, I don't know if y'all can see this on video, see how thick this wing is? Look how thin it is over here. It doesn't start thickening out till back here to about the same thickness. My guess would be 
somebody was using this on a shooting board a lot and just wore that side down. But it's pretty interesting how, hopefully y'all can see that, that this whole side is worn down quite a bit compared to this side. Just the thickness in general. Very interesting that the little things that you notice when you spend hours working on a plane and getting, I'm, I'm gonna say intimate with the tool, making sure that it uh, fits your hand and feels smooth and, it, and it's tuned up nicely. Um, I've taken a file and I've smoothed all these edges out, making it feel nice in the hand. I'm, I'm basically following, Paul Sellers has a video out there that's about an hour and eight minutes long. And he takes you step by step on how to refurbish and how to tune up a plane. That's basically what I'm following. He's got great videos out there. Um, the Plane Collector is a gentleman who I just mentioned before who has a video debunking the fact that you have to have the frog and the tote and the, the knob and everything in place or you can't flatten the sole. He completely debunked that. He's got a lot of really good videos showing you how to completely disassemble everything. Does a great job on his videos. And Just Plain Fun, MJ over at Just Plain Fun does a lot of really great videos. His videos are actually what got me to take the dive to do it myself. And MJ, if you're missing parts for your plane, uh, if it's a family heirloom or whatever it is, you find it at a flea market, he can help you find them. If he doesn't have them, he probably knows where you can get them. So I'll try to remember to put a link in the description or figure out how to put a link in the description for all that. But until then, I'm going to continue getting this tuned up. This as nice as possible. Um, I have gone further than need be to get it to be a working plane. Really all I needed to do is just clean it up and resharpen the blade and flatten the sole. The sole was already pretty flat. That didn't take much time at all. But I am trying to make it as nice as possible. I'm trying to achieve something or attempt to do things that I've never done before. I said everything I do on here is a learning process for me and I have fun with it but this has taken a really long time. I think I've been working on this for about six hours already. So my goal is to try and make this a shorter video than normal because I went back and watched some of my first videos and I even fell asleep because they were so long. So we get to working on this. I will try to make it a shorter, sweeter video. I may not show as much of the process, but I'm still trying to find my groove. I appreciate y'all. I'm getting really close to being finished with this project. All I have to do is scrape sand and refinish the uh, tote and knob. It's gonna need some reshaping a little bit because it's damaged. Um, the only reason I'm going to refinish these is because if you look here, whoever my grandfather bought this from, and I hope y'all can see that, engraved their name in it. I know it's not my grandfather because Miller G E is not my grandfather. So whoever he bought this from carved their name into the handle and love this plane, but it's not my family history. So I'm going to refinish these. I'm going to take the side of this chisel and you could use a razor blade. You could use a scraper, use a pocket knife, whatever you'd like. And I'm just going to start scraping this off. It just comes right off. After I scrape it, I'm going to lightly sand it and then refinish it. And all I have to do after that is sharpen the blade and put it back together. More and more I get into this. So th these aren't rosewood. Uh, they were beech stained to look like rosewood. It's type 17. Again, that's a wartime era 
plain, so they were using steel instead of brass. They used beech instead of rosewood. They were cutting corners, if you will. But I'm glad I grabbed this plane to go over the top with because now I can take something that's not as nice and make it beautiful, make it something spectacular in my eyes. Y'all may not like what I'm doing with it, but I think it's turning out really good. I can't wait for y'all to see it. I'm gonna try to do something I've never seen done with a hand plane before on the tote and the knob. It may go horribly wrong. <laughs> I have to wait and see to find out. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make you watch because like I said, I could mess up this entire project in a matter of seconds. Like I said, I could ruin this very quickly. Here goes nothing. I don't know if I like the way that's turning out. Yeah, this is not, yeah, no turning back. I gotta have more control like this. Yeah, I got more control here. Yeah, I don't think there's enough grain definition for this to turn out the way I was hoping. It's just burning it. Well, that's what you're doing, Ryan. You're burning it. I am in the home stretch. I am. <laughs> I have flattened the back of the chip breaker so that it fits against the iron squarely. I have flattened the back of the lever cap so that it applies pressure evenly against everything. And I'm currently in the process of flattening the back of the iron and I'm using the ruler method. I have a small thin ruler which I place on the edge of my diamond stone and I work it back and forth until the edge is completely flat. After I flatten the back of it, I will use my trend honing guide to sharpen the blade. I have a review on this product. It is well worth the purchase. If you haven't seen that review, it's in my playlist. Don't know if y'all can see that, but I've got a nice burr all across the back end. So I don't have an extremely nice piece of wood to test this out on. All I've got is this leftover two by six from when I made this vice stand. Those are pretty, pretty thin. Truth be told, I don't even have a woodworking shop yet. I'm, you've seen the equipment around. I'm in the process of putting everything together, but I might as well go ahead and restore my grandfather's tools while I've got the time so that when I do get a woodworking shop put together they'll be ready to go. Try 
Try to advance that just a little bit more. I think it's working quite nicely. Well, there it is. I don't think too bad for my first full number five type 17. I think it turned out all right. This is my grandfather's type 17 Bailey number five. And I think it turned out really well. There are a few changes cosmetically that I would do differently now that I've got it together but just cosmetic. I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. I was unsure about the tote knob, whether or not burning them was gonna work. It didn't give me the high contrast between grain that I was hoping for, but they turned out all right. And the best thing is it doesn't suck. Um, I tried some new things that I'd never done before. I learned, and that's the whole point, is to learn something new and to get out there and try. Again, I'm glad that I chose this plane to take this direction. It's type 17, wartime plane, not as many niceties. So I made it look pretty good in my opinion. I'm glad I went the way I did with it. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Until next time, get out there, find something to refurbish, save it from being forgotten, and live the biggest life you can. Hey buddy, what are you doing? You wanna help me? You wanna help me? Come here. Come here. You wanna help me? Huh? You gonna help me? Oh yeah. He's a good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Okay. Alright. What are we gonna do first? Tell me, what are we gonna do first? Well, that's a great idea. Alright. Hop down. <laughs>